Hey, it's Amy here with a one minute tech tip. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to run an iPad app on the new M1 Mac. That's right, you can run iPad apps on your Mac now. So I'm gonna show you an example of that right now. I'm opening the App Store and on an M1 Mac, you will notice something a little bit different. If I go to search for an app, I'll see at the top where it says Mac apps or iPhone and iPad apps. So I can choose uh, which one I want to do. Now, if I'm looking for something that is only for iPhone and iPad, but is not made for that for the Mac yet, I can actually still download it here on my Mac. So um, I'm going to look at my account here. And if we look at my account, you'll also see that it's separated by Mac and iPhone and iPad apps. So just for fun, I'm going to head over to iPhone and iPad, and I'm gonna download some of these iPad apps that are not made for Mac, just to see what they look like. So here's my favorite mileage app, Milebug. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And Epicurious. It does note they're designed for iPad and not verified for the Mac, but we're just going to give it a try. These do show up on my launch pad, just like any other app. And let's give Epicurious a try. As you can see, this works just fine and it looks great. This is Milebug. You can see that this one is definitely oriented for an iPad or an iPhone. This is a really old one, but uh, just kind of fun to see how this looks. So there you have it. It's a lot of fun using the new Mac with M1 and having the cross compatibility with iOS apps. So give it a try and have some fun. See you next time.